Last Tuesday, my 15-year-old daughter was scheduled to give a presentation to her government class about North Korea. She focused on the case of Otto Warmbier, the University of Virginia student who was arrested and convicted in North Korea allegedly for stealing a poster from the wall and sentenced to 15 years of hard labor. As my daughter was delivering her presentation in class that day, one of her classmates was checking his cell phone. They're not supposed to do that during school, but kids sometimes break the rules. So he checked his cell phone and reported to the class that as she was delivering her presentation, the media was reporting that Otto was coming home. But it turned out that Otto did not really make it home. Hard labor in North Korea means torture. Otto was sent home after about 18 months with brain damage. And yesterday brought the tragic news of Otto's death. A North Korea will not hold anybody accountable for Otto's death. It's a totalitarian government with no concept of the rule of law. No civil rights, no due process, no justice. My daughter could not believe that a place like North Korea exists in the 21st century. We're privileged to live under a constitution that protects the rule of law. The rule of law is not just a feature of America. The rule of law is the operating system of America. And sometimes people get so caught up in criticizing our own system that they fail to appreciate how fortunate we are. But my daughter will not forget. She and her classmates are grateful to live in a country filled with law enforcement officers who obey the rule and protect us from harm. People who run toward gunfire so the rest of us can get away safely. People like you. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.